10, a basement brothel hidden in a Detroit neighborhood. Women reportedly beaten, drugged and forced into prostitution behind the door of this home. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Amira David. A new federal affidavit laying out more than two year long investigation that uncovered a disturbing sex trafficking operation. The stories of at least 10 victims are outlined in this complaint and the FBI is hoping more victims will come forward tonight. This convicted sex offender is back behind bars. He's facing several charges, including sex trafficking by force and maintaining a drug house. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cass spoke with neighbors who live near the home at the center of the investigation. He has their reaction and more details of what federal investigators say happened inside. Well, authorities say this house behind me served as a sex trafficking operation and a brothel where multiple women were forced to stay in the basement. Neighbors on this street say they're shocked to learn what was happening right under their nose. Neighbors driving by this east side Detroit home had no idea the horrors that allegedly took place inside, where multiple women say they were locked in the basement, beaten, raped and given drugs while having sex with paying customers. It's crazy to know that people were there and nobody had any idea. On Thursday, police surrounded the home, arresting Kuyamabi Summerlin, who's now facing charges for sex trafficking using force, fraud and coercion, along with gun and drug charges. I was very shocked, very. And I didn't think nothing happened like this in this neighborhood. According to this federal court affidavit, the investigation started in 2019 when the first victim reported a rape to Detroit police. From there, police learned of at least nine other victims, including potential minors. One victim had called the National Sex Trafficking Hotline and another was found during a separate undercover operation where that victim told agents Summerlin was a, quote, violent pimp, saying he kept all her money, fed her drugs and locked her in the basement of his east side Detroit home. It hurts me because I have grandkids here, my granddaughters and stuff. When they said ladies was over there, minors, my grandkids are minors. And that just hurt me. It just hurt me. In July, FBI agents were able to find 130 commercial sex advertisements online linked to Summerlin. And during Thursday's search warrant, officers found two more women in the basement, along with cocaine, fentanyl, and a loaded shotgun in the front room. I'm just thinking about their parents. I'm just thinking about the girls' parents and stuff, and the girls. Now, the FBI says they are currently looking for more victims. If you have any information, you're asked to contact the FBI. The number is 313-965-2323. Reporting on the east side of Detroit, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.